Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Sims 4 Dream House and hopefully that little echo we had in the last episode should be sorted. I've kind of put an entire mattress behind me. It's still gonna be like, I can't cover the walls yet. I've ordered some stuff that hopefully will let me. But fingers crossed at least for now, the echo has improved a little bit for you guys. So in the last episode, we saw Emma and little Max get kind of close. Like if I was expecting romance for any of the twins, it was not going to be Emma. So I was a little bit surprised by that. But you guys seem to like the pairing and hopefully Emma can kind of straighten out Max because he's a little bit evil. He's definitely a little bit evil and he wants an evil empire. Maybe he can keep the evil empire but be a nice person? I don't know if you can do that, but Emily, however, she has joined the Paragons, but that's as far as she's gotten right now. She hasn't really influenced her so social circle very much. Also, you guys, I tried again to rub this sign out. I'm going to have to like, scrub the surface of it off and then use different pens. Because that pen does not come off. So, guys, hopefully you're uh, excited for... <laughs> Hopefully you guys are excited for this episode of Sims 4 Dream House. If you are, give it a little cheeky thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. As always, your feedback. I will address some of the stuff you guys talked about in the comments in the last video, in this video. So keep watching and guys, let's play some Sims 4 Dream House. Okay guys, I've got my coffee. It's got a little picture of Ali, me and Evie on there. It's also got a Gengar on the back. <gasps> we don't want to be here. We don't want to be in Samuel. Sure, sure, sure. We want to be in Willow Creek. Oh my gosh. Oh, everybody's at the um, Von Hart Estate. I wonder if it'll let me go to them. I also have some little treaties, guys. I've got some strawberries, some chocolate, and some berries. So if my teeth look a little bit strange while I'm recording, now you know why. <gasps> it is. It's taking us there. So they're still at the wedding, if you guys remember, look! Look at Summer, she's so pretty, James is so happy. <gasps> look how beautiful, like, how good looking is this couple? Just think about their babies, guys. Just think about their babies for one moment in time. How beautiful are their babies actually gonna be? On a scale of one to 10, I would say a strong 11, a strong 11. Jesse, why are you looking so sad? <gasps> You're hungry because the wedding has no catering, look! You can't get to the kitchen to cook. You can't do it, guys. You can't do it. It's very annoying. In fact, <gasps> can I? Can I? Can oh, you cheeky. You, boom. Is that enough? Is that enough to get me in? Shall I see if the caterer can now? Oh my gosh, I think they can get in now. Can we ask little caterer lady? Please cook for us. Oh, we can't. I wonder if she'll just do it now that she can get in. I mean, it's 1 a.m. I kind of don't want the party to end. Why don't it look? Here we go. Cook a gourmet meal. Cook. Cook, um, this. Cook a party. Party size. Quick class. Save the wedding. Oh, everyone's leaving. Look. Lol. Bye. Bye. Oh, man. Goodbye. Even the happy couple has gone. Uh, okay, none of this, guys. None of this. Let's all get our butts home. There we go. Oh, I should check on Claire's age as well, you know. Nine days left, guys. Nine days left. I don't know. I might... Oh my gosh, everything's being haunted and stuff. I may allow them to age up naturally. I don't quite know yet. I don't quite know. Mm, 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 mm. Trees and Sims. There's a way to live. Oh, oh, ah, ah. Here we go. Here we go. You know what? I've just realized that one of the traits of this lot is still on a ley line, which we don't really need. Should we do this? Teen neighborhood. More teens will hang out in the neighborhood that surrounds this lot. You'll spot them roam roaming around and loitering the streets, as teens are known to do. It's a good opportunity for teens in your house to meet friends their own age. We'll see how this goes, guys, because personally, if that was my house, I think I'd find that very annoying. You don't want it to be like a place where like kids just hang out all the time, but... It may help our little childrenos. Although Jesse, 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 you may not be a teen for much longer, okay? I have some thoughts on that that I want to discuss with you guys this episode. Let me just send everybody at least to bed. Eh, I don't know who the butler is right now. I never know. It's like, uh, it's Jamie, okay? It's one of the three butlers that te seems to frequent our house. Luwix Saladigux. Okay, that's a long ass name and I definitely didn't say that right, but hello. Thank you for following 
Welcome to the party. So everybody's heading off to bed. And speaking of beds and bedrooms, you guys had some issues with the fact that Emily's bedroom was bigger. This is Emily. This, this is the bigger bedroom than Emma's bedroom. And then it wasn't fair. Okay, guys, first of all, harsh lesson in life. Life isn't fair. You can't have four kids and expect them to all have identically sized rooms. That's not how it works. You guys said that Claire's art room should have been Emma's room and she should have got that instead. Claire is an artist. This is literally her work. And we spent ages making this room and it's surrounded by pictures of all her children. I'm not about to change that. She needs inspiration. She needs a good place to work if she wants to pay bills for the family. Because in fact, I think the power might get shit off this episode if we're not careful. Also, I kind of felt like Emily would be the kind of person that would care a lot more about that stuff. She'd want the big walk-in wardrobe. She'd want the big makeup vanity. She'd want the karaoke stand. Whereas in my mind, Emma wouldn't really care about that stuff as much. She just doesn't care quite as much. In my mind, as long as she's got her guitar, she's got some of her stuff, she'll gather some belongings on here. That stuff just doesn't matter as much to Emma. She's not the type to get all obsessive about a room. She wants to be outside playing in the world anyway, not inviting her friends around for dress up sessions. So honestly, I don't think she would care. I think this is the right way to do it. I think this reflects their personalities a lot more. Also, when I was growing up, me and my brother had such different rooms. Like my room was longer, but it kind of like cut inwards. So it was very differently shaped. My brother's was a lot squarer. His was bigger. Uh, so his was smaller, but it was more evenly laid out. And then when we moved to our second house, because we moved and rented before we got the house that where parents live in at the moment, like my brother's room was tiny. Like his room was like a fifth of the size of my room. It's just the way it worked out. My room was way, way bigger. However, it had huge bay windows and it was freezing. So it was so much bigger, but I never went in there because it was too cold. I just spent the whole time like hanging out. I'd actually hang out in my brother's room rather than be in my room because my room was so cold that on a morning when I breathed, you could see my breath. So oh, I need a little coffee, a little bit of coffee. What I'm basically trying to say is that fair isn't always equal. And you can't, you can't let your kids think that they're always going to get identical things because then when things in their life don't work out well, they're going to be disappointed, they're going to be upset, they're going to be frustrated, and it's just not the way life works, guys. It would be wonderful if life worked that way, but that isn't the way that life works. So hopefully that, guys, explains it to you a bit more. As you know, we're kind of strapped for cash at the moment. I know you're thinking, 13,000 pounds, no, you are not. We actually are because we need to pay 15,000 pounds worth of bills. And over time, we will definitely build up some more stuff in Emma's room. But honestly, if, like, I had this room, I'd be really happy with this room. I love, like, the, the proper wood flooring. I love the fact that she's got these huge windows that just, like, look out onto the garden. I would, like, this is not a disappointing room. This is not the kind of room you're disappointed as, as a child. And I feel like I've gone on about this quite a lot now, guys. So that's enough of that for now. But hopefully you guys can at least understand a little bit more. Another thing you guys said is that Claire, uh, sorry, Emma met Olivia at school. They actually just met randomly and you guys said that they would make great friends. I happen to massively agree with this. So I'm definitely going to get those guys on the little friendship wheel together. But right now, all the kids have to head off to work. Like I was saying in this last episode, I'm so impressed with Jessie. She was a horrible teen. Like straight up, she was a horrific teen. But she is definitely, like, she's matured loads. She's joined a club. She doesn't have these stupid little um, mood swings anymore. She's got a job. She is, in my opinion, well on the road to becoming a well-adjusted adult, which means she is pretty much ready to grow up, guys. So it won't be long until we see that. Incoming text. I heard you became friends with Samuel Ford. He's pretty cool. <gasps> That's kind of random, but I like that. I definitely like that. I like that they just send texts to each other because you don't usually see that very often. Unless it was cut in last episode. When little Mad Max texted Emma and asked if she wanted to hang out. Oh my gosh, if Ali gets an extra $70, he will have achieved his lifetime goal. <gasps> Emily has to present in front of the entire class. She has some great ideas of how to jazz up that presentation, even if they're not exactly what the teacher asked for. She should go all out and make her presentation shine or just do what was asked. This chocolate is making my mouth water so much. Emily, go all out. If you've got the time and you've got the dedication, do it. Her presentation blows the other students out of the water. She gets a high to win the class and the teacher submits her for student of the millennium. Not even student of the year, student of the millennium. Literally of the millennium. <gasps> teacher has to break up a fight between, oh, a jealous student. Jealous student, jealous of Emily's uh, beautiful presentation. Oh my gosh, have them work it out. No one got hurt, it's fine. Violence is unacceptable. <gasps> have them work it out together, okay? Oh my gosh. 
So many phone calls, so many phone calls. <gasps> An underground warehouse, oh my gosh. Let's head out around 10. I don't, <laughs> no one's ever managed to go to this club. Okay, Claire apparently is gonna try. She's a little bit old for clubbing guys, but she'll give it a go. Okay, Ali, let's achieve your lifetime goals. Sit your butt on this table right now. Let's go to programming and let's do some freelancing work, okay? <gasps> Was that enough? Oh, nearly, nearly. <laughs> He's so close, $25. Oh my God, just like sell a banana and you're there. <gasps> oh look, the teens are hanging outside the house. This is the girl with a very tiny, tiny head. She's also one of uh, Emma's friends growing up. Um, I can't remember her name. I know that there's two kids that look really German, so I'm just gonna call them Hansel and Gretel. So that's Gretel going by, trying to find, uh, what did Hansel and Gretel do? Hansel and Gretel. Did they find the um, gingerbread house? I think it was a gingerbread house that those guys found. <gasps> and look, here is one of the Paragorinos. Oh, all these teens are hanging outside the house and my poor little teens are at school. That's not fair. Jesse, slack off because you're stressed. Oh, you're hungry. You're both hungry. My God, can the food not, can the school not feed you? What the hell? <gasps> what, have a child get married and start a family their own? That happened. James did that last episode. How was that now? I don't understand how Claire's lifetime achievement hasn't been achieved there. Because she definitely should have had that. James got freaking married. She was there. She saw it. What? What? That is not fair, guys. So that hasn't been achieved quite annoyingly. Oh my gosh. Why does she keep ringing us and telling us how cool all the teenagers we hang out with are? The babysitter's a little bit weird. She's still desperate to be involved in the kids' lives. It's like, they've grown up. They've moved on. They're like adults now. Can you just back off? Back off, back off, back off. Oh my gosh. More texts. Why is everyone doing this, James? Why is everyone texting each other saying how cool everyone is? She's pretty cool, she's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, she's so cool, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. How cool is this pig though? Look at it. Look at its face! <gasps> Stop texting me that everybody's cool, okay? It's weird. So weird. Guys, why is this happening? Why is this happening? What? This is the weirdest thing ever. Are we getting trolled? Is someone actually trolling us right now? Stop it! You don't, Max and Emily don't even know each other. What's happening? <gasps> okay, Ali could be just about to achieve his lifetime achievement award. Best actor, Leonardo DiCaprio. Have you done it? Dance front. Come on, you just did the thing. <gasps> Should Emily invite over Corey? Sure, sure, kids. Invite everyone around. We are the cool parents. Whoa. Okay, come on, Ali. Do it! Oh my gosh, Mott. Ah! Stop the hook! Stop it! Stop it! Is it done? Has he done it? <gasps> Scrimping, saving as good life choices have all led to this. Ali's achieved the dream of becoming fabulously wealthy. Trey earned shrewd. Household funds accrue interest on a weekly basis. Oh my gosh, guys. That is freaking awesome. That is actually freaking awesome. Wow. Also, who... So, Corey, I made him. I made him. Who invited him round? One of these cuts did, but I'm not actually sure who did. Oh, that's cool, though. We've got some little friendarinos to hang out with. Um, Emma, I think this is one of your friends. Yeah, look. Go say hey to everyone. And Emily, why didn't you say hey to Corey? Those guys are all hanging out, and then the butler is hanging out with them too. Kind of random. Jesse, why you got star over your head? Why are you a little star? Little star. Oh look, little Jesserino's friends are here as well. There's a face we haven't seen in a while. It's little Taylor. Oh my gosh, since we invite, since we made this like a teen-friendly lot. There's like 17 million teenagers in our house right now. Oh look, those guys are playing a game together. Playing a little bit of sim bowling. These guys have gone to go hung out outside. Although Jessie needs a little wee wee. Okay, bye. <laughs> She's like, why you just leave me like that? Oh my gosh, she has first kiss as an option. She could literally give her a first kiss. I like that they've like gone outside as well just to like get away from everybody else. I'll send her back out in a moment. Oh wait, Jesse, you can go for a You're wee, you know? Us. We're not gonna stop you going for a wee, honey. Oh, look at these two, look at these two. <gasps> what? Taylor and um, Emily doing some little hallway chit chats. Just like staring at each other. This is a happy cool. discussion. It's a happy discussion. I feel like we should feed everyone like since we've got 17,000 kids. Oh look, there's food there. Oh, there's only one left. 
Jimmy! Jimmy, where are you? Damn it. Okay, Claire, you can cook everyone a gourmet meal. Caprizi salad, my favorite. <gasps> Look at these two again. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, oh, guys, we we have no money. Oh no, they're also gonna start freaking out about the lack of power. Okay. Oh my gosh, look, she's created a Team Valor picture. Claire, you need to go sell your painting, okay? Oh my gosh, Emily's got two guys after her. She's literally got both these guys here trying to chat with her. Okay, he's left. Taylor, it's all about you now. Okay, Jessie has been for her toilet. She's been to the toilet. She She's all grown up, she's in a good mood. Guys, I think it's time. I literally think it's time. Oh. oh my gosh. Woo! She's well Woo! happy about that as well. <gasps> right, she has a pet in a flirty mood, but she's happy because she's got a deep connection. And she's had her first kiss. She's going to be happy for 12 hours after that. Oh, oh my gosh, she can kiss her neck. Bold pickup line. Attempt to seduce. Where's that one gone? I like that one. Make out in closet. Oh my gosh, I think this would be in Emily's closet. I have to see this. Okay. Ooh, see. <laughs> Love that. Oh my gosh, Roxy is literally loving it. <gasps> Are they actually off to go make out in the closet upstairs? If so, that is like so cute 80s teen movie. Love that. <gasps> Those guys are still chatting away, by the way. <gasps> He's showing us stuff on his phone. I mean, I made Taylor with the expectation that maybe um, Jesse would be interested in him. But I actually think he's probably, and you guys have said this as well, I think he's a better fit for um, little Emily. <gasps> Look at these guys. Super <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Look at this! <gasps> How freaking cute are those two? Uh -huh. Imagine if Emily came up now and she'd be like, what the hell is my big sister doing? What is she doing? Why is this happening? Okay, Taylor's heading home. He's had a really nice evening and he's heading off. I wonder if uh, Emily's gonna... <gasps> How are you feeling, Em? She's a uh, deep connection. <gasps> New friend. Are they friends already? Oh my gosh. They're friends already. <gasps> and she knows that he's cheerful. Okay, Roxy's heading off home as well. This has been a very successful night and I'm like, why is it so dark? Why is everybody just sat in the darkness? Then I remembered they don't have any money. I think Claire's actually doing a painting right now. <gasps> no, she's come back downstairs. Come on, we can't be in the darkness like this. It's ridiculous. Resume this painting, Claire, so you can sell it. Ah, it's so dark. Like, they've got this like ridiculously beautifully decorated house with so much stuff in it, but I just can't take selling any of it. I want to keep all of it. I don't want to sell it. Claire, let's just hope this painting is amazing. Is it done? <gasps> yes, sell to an art gallery. Please, let's say that's enough. Oh, yay, no, no, no. Don't you dare donate or do anything like that. Just pay the bills, okay? Oh, yay, we've got the power back. Emily's probably in her room like, why is all, why, why are all my clothes on the floor in my closet? What's this handprint in my closet? What is going on? Oh, they're like saying goodnight to each other. I love awesome. Emily's room. Like, I think Emily's room's really cool. <laughs> I think if you were like a teenage girl, you would love that room. I think you'd like it a lot. Oh, oh look at this little girly yeah, whirly chat. I wonder if she's like uh, <laughs> asking her, her about um, her new friend. Oh, we can do some parenting. Influence to pee. No, thank you. Okay, everyone's head into bed. At least we don't need to worry about the bills for a little while. But soon, soon we will. Strawberry soon. What? <laughs> Sorry, but what? Claire's got this stuck to her hand. Uh -huh. Why can't she go? Oh, yeah. <gasps> when she goes to sleep, it's still there. Watch. She can't sleep because she is holding the grilled cheese like. Oh my gosh, can you not get rid of this? Clean it up. Gross. Ah, then go to sleep, you big weirdo. <gasps> Who's she sending a text to? Oh my gosh, she just sent a text. She literally just sent a text. <gasps> Why don't we get her to send one? Send one to little Taylorino. Send a few. This is how teens are, man. She could send some to Tori as well. Corey, 
keep him on the back burner. She doesn't know which one she wants yet, guys. What about little Emma? What's she doing? <gasps> you didn't get to hang out with Max yesterday, Emma. Oh my gosh. Why is everything so gross in here? Butler, what are you doing? Clean. Emma, what, <laughs> what are you doing? You've got school and you're like really hungry, but for some reason you're just like sat in the pool. Sat in the pool, having a little bit of fun. Why is the butler not cleaning anything? Like, look at the state of the house, butler. What, why are you showing that there's no dirt there? Please, can you clean? There we go. Jesus. Okay, you guys said that if he hacks, he can make more money. I'm just kind of scared of him hacking and getting caught and then we get charged. What supercomputer? <gasps> okay, I think his, um, I think his skill is like really high. Where can I see skills? Am I being, oh. there we go. Yeah, his programming skill is 10. <gasps> oh my gosh, look guys, he's hacking into the mainframe. He's thinking about James. <gasps> you little cute but You can send James a text. What the hell is the butler doing? Oh my gosh. I hate the butlers in this game, guys. You know what? I'm just gonna fire her. I'm gonna fire her and we're just gonna have like a maid and stuff <laughs> instead. <gasps> oh my gosh! He just got 757 pounds from hacking a supercomputer. <gasps> that is such a better way for us to get a little bit more money, guys. I'm just gonna see if she'll do it now. Just freaking clean, okay? Looks what nice is she doing? What are you doing, Jamie? Look at this! Look at it! <gasps> okay, forget you. Forget you. Butler, management, fire. And then let's just hire a maid. Oh, poor Ali, he's always the one that has to fire them. <gasps> she still took all that money as well. We just need a scheduled maid, okay? No more butlers, guys. It doesn't work. It does not work. Hey, Max is here to come and hang out with uh, Emma. She's cooking some mac and cheese for them. By the smell of it, though, I don't think it's great because he just walked over and was like, eh, and then he left again. <gasps> Can we still ask him to come over? Come over and get some foodies, okay? Oh no, it's Emma. It's Emma, she's gross. Go take a shower. <gasps> all the kids are stinky. Why y'all so stinky? Okay, so Emma and Max are hanging out, playing some video games together. She's literally playing it through his chest. Not quite sure why that is. Emma, hun. Oh, Emma's a tiger. Okay, you need some bed rest. You definitely need some bed rest. Why don't you send your little little boys a little text and then you can uh, head up to bed. Head up and get some rest because you do not look very good. <gasps> Emma has learned that Max is evil now. She knows he's evil now. I think up until then, she didn't know that was his trait. So she knows that he's an e he's literally an evil genius. I know it says genius evil, but he's an evil genius. But he's a good friend. He's not evil with her. Oh, what was that? Swaby Some, <gasps> she's whispering about dinosaurs to him, guys. <gasps> Look at the size of that TV behind them, by the way. I've only just noticed how freaking huge that is. It literally only just fits into that bit of the wall. No wonder they always like to come and watch TV in here. So, Emily is in a flirty mood, so I figured now is probably a good time to like send some little flirty texts out, see if she gets any responses. The lighting in this room is pretty intense. Everybody always looks a little bit blown, blown out of proportion. What are those guys doing? They're off to go do painting. Oh, Claire's off to sleep. Have you sent those texts yet? She's still eating a chili. She's not one for texting and eating. She's like the only one in the family who doesn't do that because everybody else is obsessed with texting at all times. Oh my gosh, Emma. Emma's in a bad phase at the moment. Like she doesn't like to be around family. She wants to be on her own. She's feeling really distant. I don't know why. So okay, Emily's text Taylor. She liked that. She feels confident after doing that. And now she's also gonna text her friend Corey as well. Although, no, she doesn't want to. She does not want to text Corey. It's all about Taylor with this one. Why do you give him like a quick little, little chit chat on the phone and then go to sleep, okay? Oh my gosh, Jesse. Sorry, we've been eating more chocolate. I feel like I'm old enough now and I should be able to do whatever I want, go wherever I want and with whoever I want. Can you treat me like an adult, please? She wants to grow up, guys. She wants to grow up, it's a sign. You'll always be my baby. Not until you've grown more. We'll see what we can do. I think we'll see what we can do because we're gonna age her up. Although she will always be my baby. Who did she ask for advice for? It must have been Ali. She asked Ali for that little bit of advice. 
Ah. Ali's like mad into the painting scene at the moment. No idea why, but he is. Jessie's up practicing her DJing. She's getting there. What skill level are you at with the old DJing now? Two. She's only at level two, but hey, she's practicing. At 4 a.m. in the morning, but still. <gasps> You've got work in an hour as well, Jessie. Have you got any food in your inventory you can eat? Oh, you can eat some strawberries. There you go. Hey, Emma, let's go experience the unique <laughs> culture that the city provides. I heard there's an opera around eight. Do you want to go? <gasps> we have to remember to do that because I always forget about these things. Ah, but she's in such a bad mood, look. She doesn't like being near her family. She wants to be left on her own. Are they actually having a fight with each other? <gasps> Twins, don't fight each other. Oh my gosh, she's really angry. Why are they picking on me? Oh my gosh, let's get you out of that situation. Don't go take an angry poop. Get away, get away. I don't want her to die of anger, guys. They're following her in there. Oh my gosh, leave her alone. No wonder she's so angry. She can't even have an angry poop. Okay, she's gonna be going to school late today because her family was so mean to her. <gasps> she's still angry, guys. Come on, please get happier. Don't die of anger, Emma. Okay, she's heading off for a jog to clear her mind. <gasps> Some bullies have been picking on Emily since she's an A student. Confront them, Emily. What does that say? She got a small performance gain, but there we go. So look, Emily's going for a run. Where's she gone? There he is. She's trying to make herself feel a little bit better. Look, she feels better now, and then she's gonna go to school. I know she's really late going into school, but I don't want her to die of anger. That's my thing. I'd rather she be alive. Make some friends, okay, guys? Make friends. Everyone's in such a bad mood. Why am I... Like, teens are hard to look after. They are so much harder to look after than adults are. Our oh, problem. James has called Ali to hang out. <gasps> how cute is that? We can't be too long, though. Because I do want... I don't get how I do this. Do I just go into the city at 8? Like, where do they catch an opera? I don't understand this little text. I think I still might have to invite Max. I don't understand how that bit works at all. Oh, look at these two little cutie pies. Honestly, like, they get on so well. Look. They're literally best friends. Daddy's boy. Best friends. Good friends. Son. He doesn't know what his career is. How can he not know what his career is? Look how similarly to each other they look as well. They dress similar. Like, Ali's just got, like, darker hair, a bigger beard, bigger eyebrows. And then James looks so similar to him. They're such little beans. I love them. Oh, look, you can order um, a barista's recommendation. This is like a coffee shop. Let's get our first coffee. Hey, so look at that. He got a little coffee. Where are you going, James? Come sit. Come sit with me. Okay, Ali, you're going to have to head home, babe. You've had a really nice little bit of a little day with James, though. It's very cute that they can hang out together like that. Come home. Come on. Home we go. Okay, Jesse. I actually don't think that little... Um... Okay, I don't think Emma Kins actually can go out tonight because... It's gonna be Jessie's birthday party tonight, but to do that, she has to make herself a cake. <gasps> okay, you can make a cake. And then I may, like, oh, birthdays have always been at home. I might make her have a birthday, like, elsewhere, like, go somewhere for her birthday instead. <gasps> oh my gosh! Taylor's texting um, Emily yeah. saying, let's go out and have some okay, fun. But it's meant to be Jessie's birthday! Oh my gosh! They are into each other, guys. They are into each other in a big way. How funny if they got together and then Jess is like, they got married and they're all older and everyone's grown up and Jess is like, remember when we went on that date together and it was really bad? I do. Okay, cake is in the fridge. I was gonna say the oven. Okay, pop that in your inventory and then you need to plan a party. We need to go somewhere cool for it. Okay, it's a birthday party. Um, the birthday sim is you. You need to invite your parents, Jess, Emily, uh, Salma. Salma can come. James can come. Um, Dia. <gasps> Roxy has to come, obviously. Taylor. Taylor should come too. I can't invite Max because she, she's never spoken to him. She doesn't know who he is. She should invite her club members though. Where's that dude she was speaking to for ages at the club? I can't find him. Maybe he's dead. Okay, loads of people there. And then we should go to a club. They should go to a club for the birthday. I don't know what this club is like. It's called the Narwhal Arms. We could try that. It's pretty early to go clubbing, but let's give it a go. It's Jess's birthday. Okay, birthday celebrants need a cake. She's got a cake, it's in her inventory. 
Okay, so we've got everybody here. And then this is the club. Okay, it's got a DJ there. It's got a bar. It's got everything you need to have a good time. Can it, they all just start dancing. Yeah. Go do some dancing, guys, okay? Emma, you probably want to invite around Max because uh, Jesse couldn't invite him. Oh, it's those two rubbish <laughs> music genres again. Ah, you should be the one DJing, Jess. Yeah. She would do such a better job. Oh my gosh, remember? It's Schmidt, J um, Ali's old friend. Wait, not everybody's here. Wait, where's Roxy? Are people still arriving? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jess is trying to DJ. Oh, Jess, you're not great at that yet. As if the DJ just left so early. I don't get where everybody is that we invited as well. Why would you all leave at 8 p.m.? What are you doing? Why are you all going? Oh my gosh, they're here. Oh, James is here as well. Roxy's here. Okay, go give us some little kisses and stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, we did not know about this. But Selma is pre oh my gosh, Selma is pregnant. <gasps> okay, a little spoiler. A little bit of a spoiler there. Because we would not have known this. But literally, Selma is pregnant. She is there being all pregnant and whatnot. So Selma and James have turned up. And given us a little spoiler. <gasps> oh my gosh, Taylor has turned up as well. <gasps> and she's feeling very flirty. I recognize the song. Isn't this Zed? <laughs> Isn't this a remix of a Zed song? I swear it is. That is definitely a Zed song. Like, 100% that is a Zed song. <gasps> She's feeling very flirty. You can ask him about his love life. Oh my gosh, it's running a little bit strange, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Look at these two little lovers. Taking little pictures together and whatnot. Oh look, there's that dude that she was hanging out with before. But now she wants to hang out with little Roxarina, although he's actually not letting her by. Okay, I was a bit worried that this party wasn't going to be much good. Oh my god, James has obviously whipped out his violin, as always. I was a bit worried this party wasn't going to be much good, but people seem to be enjoying themselves. But I think it's time to get the actual party bit out of the way now. <gasps> no, 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 you don't have the cake. Jesse has the cake. Okay, I think we'll have to put it on the bar. Okay, add birthday candles. And then you need to blow them out. <gasps> Why are you embarrassed? You've had an awkward, awkward socialization. <gasps> Not on your birthday. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, okay. It's time to blow out the candles. <laughs> Don't be feeling sad. It's your birthday. There you go. <gasps> what kind of horrible clothes is it going to give her? Okay, so Jessica has aged up. She's got good manners and she is responsible. <gasps> you would never have thought based on how she was as a, um, a young teen that she would ever get those traits. We also get one more trait for her. So at the moment, she's a genius. She's cheerful. Like, she's happy. Like, it's worked out good for her. What else can we give her? I kind of want to give her something that other people don't have. I don't think we've got any bookworms in the family. I think that would be quite nice. I don't want to make her hate children or something. We've got quite a lot of, like, outgoing and self-assured people. I think we go for the bookworm route because I kind of want Jess to be a scientist who also DJs on the side. A little bit of a mix of skills there, but still. And also, hello, Ellen Arado, who's now following us. Hello. So there we go. Jess is aged up now, which also means we would have to age up uh, Roxy if those guys wanted to stay together. Oh, stop being embarrassed, Jessie. It's not all that bad. Oh my gosh, listen to in here. Like, it's popping up. Jess has had a legit good party. But I think it's time for people to leave. Oh, those guys are still outside hanging out together. I, I don't think they can do anything now, though, that, um, now that Jessie's an adult and she is a teen. We would have to go in and age up Roxy. She still looks, like, identical, but she's not a teen anymore, guys. She's all grown up. Look at Selma. How much of a spoiler was that with Selma being pregnant? Wow. Okay. The music's definitely better in this club. Like, I'm feeling that music. And it's Jess has had a really good birthday. So I think we'll leave it there, guys. Jess has aged up. Um, little... Oh, wow. What? Emily? And... Oh, wow. Taylor is not on the top list anymore. Okay. They have a romantic interest, but it's not gone any further yet. No kisses or anything. But Jessie had a first kiss, obviously, with little Roxy, and now she is an adult. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Sims 4 Dreamhouse. If you have, give it a cheeky like and let me know in the comments below. Like, this club's starting to pop off now. This is, like, loud in my ears. Look at little Emma doing cleaning up. 
And it's doing good. Like, people are seriously raving and getting down. It is 2 a.m. Hope you guys enjoyed the music and you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Sims 4 Dreamhouse. And don't forget to check in on In the City tomorrow, where we can find out a little bit more about Salma's pregnancy. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.